I'm actually making history tonight as the first person with Asperger's to host SNL. Yeah. Or at least the first to admit it. <laughs> so I won't make a lot of eye contact with the cast tonight. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm pretty good at running human in emulation mode. <laughs> <laughs> I'd first like to share with you my vision for the future. I believe in a renewable energy future. I believe that humanity must become a multi-planetary, space-bearing civilization. Those seem like exciting goals, don't they? <laughs> Now, I think if I just posted that on Twitter, I'd be fine. <laughs> Look, I know I sometimes say or post strange things, but that's just how my brain works. To anyone I've offended, I just want to say, I reinvented electric cars, and I'm sending people to Mars in a rocket ship. <laughs> did, did you think I was also going to be a chill, normal dude? <laughs> Another thing people want to know is, what was I like as a kid? The answer is pretty much the same as now, but smaller. <laughs> <laughs> but we can also ask my mother, who's here tonight. <laughs> Her name is May, like the month, but with an E at the end. Thanks for spelling my name, Elon. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, do you remember when I was 12 and I created my own video game called Blastar about a spaceship that battles aliens? I do. I remember they paid you $500, but you were too young to open a bank account, so I had to open one for you. That's right. Uh, whatever happened to that bank account? That's not important. <laughs> you turned that video game about space into reality. Unless you consider that our reality might be a video game and we're all just computer simulations being played by a teenager in another planet. That's yeah. great, Elon. <laughs> well, break a leg tonight. I love you very much. I love you too, Mom. <laughs> and I'm excited for my Mother's Day gift. I just hope it's not Dogecoin. It is. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs>